good morning guys so welcome to tuesday something crazy happened last night you guys really don't care because it's not that big of a deal to you but it is such a big deal to us i found it <laughs> what i found it all right so before i tell you what happened Ooh, let's that? go see how the goats are doing last night uh we separated the goats and i watched on the camera and these guys still didn't eat a Your lot belly looks sunken down and the, oh gosh do you know what i didn't even think about they could probably jump from there to here they ate a lot of hay wow you guys are piggies well no they can't because dad thinks they're and they're too tall how did you guys like sleeping in your new stall big stretch was that a big stretch yes that's also what they do sometimes in contractions they stretch out their back she's so mad yeah she does seem mad look at that face do you see it? Do you see the face? Yeah, She's really. like, I know what kind of shenanigans you guys are pulling, but she is so cute. Where is he? She's cute. We love her. They never let me get cool. And we love her too, but she's just like, I've explained it. She's cute though. But she is a cutie patootie baby. Now I have like more stalls to clean. That's the only problem. But anyways, you guys are truly the cutest. And see, that's why I wanted to put them in a different stall because I don't think that they felt comfortable eating still. Okay, so the exciting thing that happened to us last night, it was exciting, like so exciting. You won't believe it. Because though our duck laid an egg like a month ago and never laid again. And we were like, oh, it's probably because it's winter. She'll probably lay again in the spring. But every day, Sophie comes down here to find an egg. She just wants to find an egg. She just, she just wants to be the one to find the egg. It's her duck, she loves her duck. And we are obsessed with eggs in our house. Like, we love eggs as much as we love the chickens. That's why we have Easter eggers. Because they lay all different colored eggs and that's my favorite. Like, sometimes Sophie and I take the eggs out of the fridge and we sort them and we look at them and it's like, it's like, artistic to us like we sort them and we put them in the cartons all in order so they look all beautiful i know lots of people do this it's not just us but we love the eggs a lot so sophie's been dying and dying and dying to find an egg and she hasn't laid in a month we figured she'd probably start laying in spring but i think it's because she's young and she's just starting to lay well hello babies lucy can't go up and down steps Yes, she can. That's her biggest flaw. She just fall, falls over. Need more water. Anymore. I know. I'm going to give them more water, but I'm going to put the water out there. Because he apparently had a bath in her water bucket. I'm going to put it outside because look at how messy this is getting and it's frozen so I can't even clean it. So last night we did chores. Sophie said, come on, let's just get chores done fast. I said, okay. We came down. We let the chickens in. We let the duck in. We did all the work. She's looking for water already. Um, we did all the work. We put everybody away and just as I was, Sophie was by the door ready to go back up to the house. I had to come and turn off this light. So I came walking up here and because I closed this door here I walked in here and then I came back out and I just saw behind this door another egg and I was freaking out I'm like oh! did you know instantly what it was yeah she's like darn it I wanted to find an egg oh we found another egg she laid another egg and we are cherishing it I ate the first one thinking that she's gonna lay every single day and she will as she gets a bit older probably in the spring but for now she's laying like once every once in a while and that's okay but we're gonna just keep this egg and cherish it because we love it so much it snowed last night it looks so dark it's so dark in here we are but it's supposed to get really warm we're gonna be in a mud bath very 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 soon we're headed out both girls have doctor's appointments today so we'll be doing that a little later but i saw some comments yesterday and i wanted to address a few of them i'll do it throughout this video or maybe i'll make some shorts but a lot of people were saying that it's rude for our dogs to jump up on us when we're vlogging so here's the issue and some people even venture to say that our dogs are misbehaving or that they are misbehaved and that they're out of control so here's what's interesting about that when we talk in a certain tone our dogs think that we're talking to them so when i say hello come here puppy they know that that's an invitation for them to jump up on me and to be a part of me and when i'm vlogging i use the same kind of tone that i use when i get excited with them so the only time that our dogs jump up on us is when they feel that they're being invited 
when I'm vlogging, they don't see another person near me. They don't see anybody else. They suspect that I'm talking to them because I use the same kind of tone and excitement level that I use when I'm talking to them. So when I'm vlogging, they feel I'm inviting them to come into my space and that's why they all run to me because they think I'm playing with them. They think that I'm standing there saying, come on puppy, come on, because that is what it sounds like to them. They don't see me interacting with another person. They just hear my tone of voice change. It's the same tone that I say, do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? And that brings all of our dogs to us. What's interesting is that our dogs have always been so well behaved. They've always been dogs that when people come over they're like wow your dogs are so well behaved they do have a few issues if you pet ruby if a stranger comes into our house and pets her if you don't pet her everything's fine if you pet ruby she's not gonna leave her side because she wants you to pet her but she doesn't jump up on people that's why i let my dogs do that they know when i'm inviting them they, they feel when i'm vlogging that i'm talking to them and they feel it's an invitation and I suspect it would be the same for almost everybody out there with dogs. I don't know. I know it's hard to tell because when I'm videoing something, if the same thing happens every single time I video, it's hard to tell that that's not what's happening when the camera's off. So I get it, but I just wanted to explain that little thing. It is heyday. Wow, look at that green stuff. What is that? I want that. This is ours. But it is getting empty in here. This used to be a full of hay. Hay is like such a hard business. It's good because people buy it. Oh, that looks nice and green. Sam and Sophie are, have got it down pat. They know exactly what to do. But look at this stuff. This stuff is so nice. I want this stuff. How can we never get this stuff? I love this little like room though. It's so pretty seeing all the hay all stacked up so beautifully. The snow definitely makes it harder to get the hay down to the goat barn. Thank goodness we have our trusty sh sled. I feel like it's going to fall. One more, one more, one more. How are we going to get over that? We're, we're not going to be able to do this. Alright, I'm yeah, If I do this, and then put one more, it should be good, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy! There has to be a better way. It's <laughs> all of us. How many people does it take to take to get hay to the goat barn? It's just warped in the bottom. Oh, I can't get it. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Go! Right, there we go. There on there. Oh, that was hard. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Put that in the middle more. Yeah, there we go. It's not in the middle anymore, though. Here, Mom, hold my bag. <laughs> hold my bag. around you. That's for the first one. Yeah, well. But they're hard to fit around you when you have a winter coat on. Oh, we're flying down the hill now! <laughs> oh no! Is she laying an egg? Is she laying an egg? Don't go luck. Don't go luck. Don't. Don't. Don't stress her though. She's not even in there. She's just chilling behind the door. You want egg? pooped on that rock, Lucy.
everything is quiet on the farm till Lola sees us. I also saw comments from people saying like, if your vet says that your goats are fine, then they're fine. And yeah, that's true. I don't want fine goats. <laughs> I want good goats. I want fantastic goats. I want amazing goats. One thing I learned to do above everything else in life is to trust my instincts because I have incredible instincts when some about in case if something is not right. All right, I'm stuck in here now. I can't get out. And somebody's eating my camera cord. I did it. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I was trying to say in the comments is that I tend to always notice things that other people don't. And I'm, I really trust my instincts when it comes to knowing when something's not exactly perfect. Are our goats good? Yes. Is there something that needs to be fixed? Probably. And I've been doing so much research, like so much research for months and months and months. I think I have it narrowed down to what I'm seeing. Our bat can't know to answer the questions that I need answered unless I know what questions I need to ask, if that makes sense. So to him, they look good. The thing that I'm the most confused about is that we feed our goats unbelievable amounts of stuff. Other people have goats and they get fat off air. Like they literally eat hay and grass and are fat little things. And people say all the time that one thing about goats is they just get fat so easy. And that's not been our experience. Except for with our buck that we got from a different place. And also our baby goat, which came from a different farm. Both of them seem to be typical goats. Also our little boy gets fat off of nothing as well. So it's just our girls that I noticed they don't gain weight easily. They're not easy keepers. And it seems like no matter how much food I throw at them, it doesn't change. You're not at least consistently. And I know that that typically has to do with feeding what you're feeding and um, nutritional level of your goat. At least that's what I believe and what I think. So I've had to like go back and look at every single thing that we give our goats and their nutrition level. And I think ours are probably deficient in some areas. So and I think I have it narrowed down. Always trust your instincts. That's what I believe. If you think something is not right, you're the one that lives with them all the time. You're the one that knows. And I learned so much with Chino. If Chino taught me anything, it's don't just listen to your vet. Don't just listen to somebody. If you feel like something is nagging at you, you feel like something is not right, keep asking questions, keep searching out answers until you get the answer that you want. It might not be the exact experience everyone else has had, but this is an experience I've had my entire life. I always trust my instincts. Nobody else is gonna have the same instincts that you do when they're your animals. I feel like it is happening. The snow is melting. It's getting slushy again. So there's a flood in this room. The spring thaw. I'm gonna have to get Sam to come out here and get that, fix that. You're having a bad day and you broke your yeah. pitchfork? Oh no. Means we need to get new ones. It is 100% melting out there. It's, see, everything is dripping. And it's only gonna get worse. Everything is dripping. Oh, I say you're not getting a stallion. I say I am. So, this is Sophie's thing that she built. Kind of cute. The box won't be there. <laughs> Better than what I can do. But, but the nails this, are. Yeah, and actually, you can't keep out. it out here when the horses come out because those nails are sticking out pretty far. That's a danger. But I appreciate, I applaud your attempt, Sophie. It's gonna be done in like five to a million business days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. So if you guys are, haven't seen previous videos, you might not know, but Sophie wants a stallion mini. My friend was telling me and today- a And a donkey. My friend was telling me today that they got a stallion mini, or their friends got a stallion mini, and it ended up breeding a bunch of their horses and not just the minis. <laughs> so we don't have the right kind of venting in this farm. We can't even keep our goat contained. So that's a no go. Okay, so we're just headed out to go to the doctor. But before we go, I wanted to show you guys something that Sophie discovered yesterday. This is to pass store pigs to gallop all the way. <laughs> yeah. Store of steel gallops. I posted a video on TikTok 
I posted a video on TikTok yesterday, not on TikTok, but on all the other ones, of our horses, our little herd galloping. And they all look so good and beautiful. And we Come love her. stopping She's almost to watch up. them. That's one thing about Storm. He always gallops. They have got Hi, you. baby. Do you ever look away? Do I get treats? Wow, you're looking kind of dirty. Oh, what I wanted to show you, <laughs> get everybody just standing around. What I wanted to show you was something that happened to Storm Still recently. Like Sophie noticed it. Hi. Yeah, his forelock is looking rough, but look at the rest of his hair. It's thick. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It's so much longer and it's thick. It's thick. Oh, buddy. The only change that we made for Storm yeah, is that he gets beet pulp. It's the only change that we made for him. And it seems to be making a big difference in his mane. Penny has a perfect mane. <laughs> I don't know if it's making a big difference in his tail, but I might give him beet pulp even in the summer. He's always messing up his blanket. All right, <laughs> let's get out of here. I ain't never love walking in this field in the winter you. when there's horses the following me. Anyway, Sophie sent me a picture of that yesterday and I was like, holy heck, what is that? Is it the, the, the beet pulp? The stuff that we have been giving Storm has molasses in it. And molasses is so full of vitamins. It's chock full of vitamins. It's got especially a lot of um, B vitamins in it. And some B vitamins are really good for hair and nails and stuff. So that has to be it. It has to be. So exciting though, like I love that. So we're gonna, I'm gonna maybe continue to give it to him. He's not a horse that gains weight. You got me two? I want one for Gabby. Thank you. Give me one for Gabby. Oh, it's raining. Oh, thank you. Just because I want to freeze it. We have a fridge full of water. <laughs> now we are in the dollar store, but look at, do you guys see Sam's one leg is completely straight. Only the other one is bent. Uh, Sam, Sophie needs some beauty stuff. Don't you know that you're beautiful?